Hello boys and girls, my name is Hustlesy and welcome back to Beltless Factorio. Uh, last time we added some more trains, uh, we moved our uh, red circuit facility up here, uh, clean up the uh, system a bit, but we also noticed that basically we are not producing enough green circuits. Currently it stands that we produce more than we consume, but if we look at, uh, at this graph, we have never uh, produced considerably more than we do now. However, we had essentially quite high consumption in the past so basically now the consumption is is on a low and if you look at it on a on an hour basis there you see we have consumed more and we have produced so that tells me we need another factory for green circuits so the other thing that we should look at while we're here uh, how are we looking uh, copper wise there we are producing a bit more than we are consuming it might be that adding just another factory for green circuits um, means we will need more wires as well however before we copy one of our existing factories let's see if these ones can be improved and we can see we are backlogging here on the copper wire not on the iron plates because down here we do have long-handed inserters that are just a bit slow in moving the things along and that basically results we that we do have some factories here that are not producing the ones here in the front are also not producing they could not be producing because uh, the output was which is not the case so I think the issue that we have here is that these factories are too fast uh, or they do not get input uh, fast enough. You can see uh, every once in a while uh, copper cables turns red here and if we uh, uh, go to this one yeah here it's copper cables as well here it's iron plates so one thing that we can do is slow the the production down while at the same time increasing the output and that's exactly what productivity uh, modules do um, we don't want them in here uh, we want them in the assembly machines so let's try to do that then and pick those up again and we will do that for all the ones down here uh, and then I think I don't have enough uh, productivity modules for the second factory. I don't have enough on me for this one. But then we can go ahead and copy this one. Maybe we should have another look at, uh, at production to see how that... Uh, change things so let me grab more more uh, productivity modules 
so uh, we can finish this one off and then have a look at uh, what we have currently. All productivity modules are in and uh, it just was barely enough. But we can see here that we should have a few more assemblers working. And if we look at the, at the productivity, um, there we can see we are now on, on a higher base level. It's not that significant. Um, uh, because we added productivity in the magnitude of uh, 40%, right? You can see that uh, over there on the uh, left. But we also lost a bit of uh, crafting speed, also 40%. But the losing of the crafting speed basically means that we are probably losing less time waiting for materials and might even have a few more assembly machines doing the work for us. So overall, uh, as, as we can see, we are producing a bit more and this is just one of two factories. For the second one, I don't have enough uh, enough productivity modules and we only can get enough productivity modules if we can get more blue circuits and uh, blue circuits is hampered by a lack of green circuits um, and you can see we had this uh, down uh, plateau here then we we added more and we had some peaks where we also consumed more and now we are back down here um, so I think we, we still need that that second uh, factory and we will uh, use one of these back here um, and we will just copy that um, and we will rotate this and we will move it a bit down That was too far down. Let's try that again. We rotate. And then we have to see that we can make this corner there. No. Nope. Let's give it another try. Rotate. I think that's it. Yeah. And now I can just walk over there and let the robots place the things in probably don't have enough on me but we will be uh, lacking productivity modules uh, anyway um, so it will be a while until this factory is fully up and operational at the capacity it was designed for all right, I, I will finish that up, uh, hopefully also uh, add all the modules and then we can see uh, what effect this had 
uh, on the overall picture. It looks like we have a slight problem. We lost one radar. And that's not because of rails. But because of a spitter. And it looks like this one got run over by a train shortly after disposing of our radar. So looking at the map we can see we have expanded here pollution into the area that is unknown here as well. So I think I have to go uh, and take a look there just to make sure uh, nothing else bad happens. Um, on the uh, uh, productivity module front we are almost done. We're only missing three and a half assemblers uh, to be supplied with productivity modules. So I think I will deal with the uh, with the inhabitants and then we can have a look at uh, what this whole setup did to our green circuit production. Another all night session and I had enough productivity modules not only to finish this factory here but also the third green circuit factory and when we look at the production um, over the last five hours we can see it has gone up here that's probably where we added the third factory and here um, I mean You cannot really see it that clearly, but I think we have an increase here in the last half hour, which is about the the time around when I added the, the additional modules. You can see we are producing as many circuits as we are consuming. And if we look at the uh, copper wire we can see that's maybe the, the bottleneck there. Also uh, iron plates are uh, pretty much uh, maxed out but we can look and see we do have empty iron stations so Probably it's maxed out because we are not consuming more. And uh, these stations are basically full. You can see we have ore lined up, but no, none of the furnaces are smelting. So probably next time we will have to focus how to get more copper wire because we need copper wire to get more green circuits and then also getting more red circuits because the end goal of course is we want to have more blue circuits but that's it for today hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you did please consider leaving a like if you want to not miss the next one do subscribe until then goodbye